Father, once again, we hand over everyone connected on this prayer platform into your able care. Father, we are praying, oh God, that you will strengthen our hearts, the spirit of courage, the spirit of power. Let it come upon every one of us tonight, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, righteous Father. Thank you. Lord, Lord we exalt you. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praised. Amen. Amen. Tonight, by the special grace of God, we are here together once again to seek this. We are here to tarry in the presence of the Most High God. And as usual, by God's grace, it's a time for us to renew our strength. It's a time for us to intercede. It's a time for us to carry all our needs, all our requests before the Almighty God. And I believe that tonight, as we have come here tonight, connected on this prayer network, this prayer platform, the Lord will visit us specially. And it will do us good tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm reading from the book of Luke, chapter 24. Please, if you have your Bible there, please go along with me as I read from the book of Luke, chapter 24. Luke 24. I want to read from verse 27. Luke 24. Are we hearing my voice? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm reading from the book of Luke chapter 24 in verse 27 to 32. And then I will move to verse 45. Luke 24. And begin at Moses and all the prophets. He expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew near unto the village whither they went. Look at the language that the Bible used now. And he made as though he would have gone further. That is, he behaved as if he wanted to go further. Don't forget that he was discussing with these two disciples of his, that's our Lord Jesus Christ now, after his resurrection. And so he engaged these two disciples. One of them was called Cleopas. And he was discussing with them. They were on their way to a, a, a village called Emmaus. And while he was just discussing with them, he began to expound the scripture unto them. He began to open their eyes to the scriptures. He began to, you know, teach them the word of God as they were going on the way. He knew where they were going, but he behaved as though he wanted to, you know, as if he wanted to go further. But look at verse 29. That is the area of interest to me. That verse 29. And he, and he said, but they constrain him. As I look at the word constrain, it means to compel. It means to force. He said, but they constrain him. Saying, why, do, why would they even constrain him? They constrain him because every bit of the word coming out of his mouth was with authority and with power. And if you, you can see the evidence. He said, but they constrain him. Saying, what were they saying? Abide with us. And that is exactly what we also we are saying tonight. As we have come on this fair network, as we have come together tonight, and as we see the day of the Lord approaching, and as we see that so many things are happening in this end time, persecution against believers, harassment against Christianity, opposition of the enemy against the advancement of God's kingdom, and so many things that the enemy is trying to bring forward. Look at what is happening in the northern part. Look at what is happening all over in, the, in our country, Nigeria. Look at the challenge that we are faced with now. Even concerning the global crusade. Now, these people, they realize something. And they knew that without him, they can do nothing. They said, but they constrain him, saying, abide with us. Just three words. Abide with us. They were begging him, abide with us. As we see many, many challenges confronting us, what are we saying? Abide with us. 
Let me tell you, when Jesus abides with us, you begin to see God's power in full manifestation in our lives. When Jesus abides with us, you begin to see the glory of God radiating upon our lives. When Jesus abides with us, I'm telling you, no matter the challenging situation confronting us, you begin to see strength and courage to be able to withstand all those pressures coming from the enemy's camp. That's why those people are saying, they said, abide with us, for it is towards evening, evening of challenges, evening when the darkness is overshadowing everywhere, evening when it appears as if it's almost becoming seemingly difficult to open, mouth and, uh, to open our mouth and, and, and preach the gospel because of fear, fear of what they will do, challenges of opposition here and there. He said, abide with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is past men. And he went in to tarry with them, because he listened to their requests. He, at, he attended to their requests. He went in to tarry with them. Look at verse 35, 31. And their eyes were open. And tonight, I believe that tonight, somebody's eyes will be open tonight. Our eyes will become open. Open to see Jesus. Open to behold his glory. Open to behold his power. He said, and their eyes were open. And they knew him. And they vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, did not our heart burn within us? Because the word of Jesus Christ is with power. When he, when he opens his mouth, fire will come out of his mouth. When he opens his mouth, authority will back up his word. When he opens his mouth, you begin to see signs and wonders happening. When he opens his mouth, one cannot remain the same. You begin to see fire of revival upon the altar of our heart. And the Bible says, and they said one to another, did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way? And while he opened to us the scriptures, look at verse 45. Then open he their understanding. Tonight, Jesus will open our understanding. Even as we pray tonight, then he opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Tonight, we want to call upon the Lord. What we are crying unto the Lord tonight is that abide with us. As we see the day of the Lord approaching, as we see so many challenges, Wanting to swallow people of God. Challenges on every side. Challenges on the right. Challenges on the left. Challenges in the front. Challenges at the back. Challenges in the home. Challenges in the church. Challenges in the nation. We want to tell God, Oh Lord, we need your abiding presence. The abiding presence of Jehovah. Can we open our mouth and begin to appreciate God first? And begin to say, God, thank you once again, O oh God, for this revelation of the word of God. Open your mouth and begin to praise God tonight. Let's open our mouth. I want to hear us praying, brethren. Open your mouth and begin to give all the praises to God. Let's to praise God. Let's thank God. I want to hear us praying. Open your mouth and give all unto the Lord God of heaven. Let's worship him. Let's honor him. Let's adore him tonight. Let's exalt God because of his good hand upon our lives. Let's thank him once again. Today is the day of the Lord, and the Lord has proposed to bless our lives. Yesterday, many of us were on online. The Lord visited us as our pastor, by the grace of God, led us in that prayer section. The Lord revived, the Lord strengthened, the Lord energizes us. And of course, God has been doing great, great things. We want to praise the name of the Lord. We want to open our mouth and appreciate God and say, Lord, thank you very much, O oh God because of the way you have always been meeting all our needs, all our needs on every side, spiritual needs, physical needs, financial needs, material needs, needs in the family, needs in our lives. Let's open our mouth and begin to praise him tonight. Let's give all the glory to God of heaven. Let's thank God once again. Thank the Lord and praise God. Open your mouth. I want, I'm not hearing us praying, brethren. I want to hear our voices. Please open your mouth. Let's give all the glory to God. Let's thank him because of all his manifold blessings. Let's thank him for the way God has been attending to all our needs, answers to all our requests, how God has been using all our leaders, all our pastors, all our sisters, everyone on this platform. Let's give all the glory to God. Let's say, Father, thank you once again, O oh God. 
is that so you have helped us, O oh God, and we are grateful unto you. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank him, let's thank him, let's thank him, let's thank him. Let's open our mouth and praise God. Let's thank him for what he will do for us tonight, what he's going to do in our midst, because he's going to attend to our needs. Yokes will be broken tonight. I mean, he's going to reinstate our spiritual life. He's going to reposition our life once again. He's going to strengthen us. Strength and courage will come into us. Freshness will come into our lives. In fact, God of heaven will do something great, something amazing in every one of our lives tonight. Open your mouth and begin to praise God. Let's worship the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's open our mouth and call upon the Lord. Let's ask God and say, Lord, abide with us, O God, gracious Redeemer. Abide with us, O God, in the fullness of your power. Abide with us, O God, in the power of the Holy Ghost. Abide with us, O God. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's open our mouth and begin to call upon and say, God, I need your abiding presence. If you don't need the presence of God, you may not, pray this. You may not need to pray. But if you need God's presence in your life, you want to carry the presence of God anywhere you go. I'm telling you, let's need to pray this prayer and say, Lord, abide with us, O God, in the fullness of your power, in the fullness of your, of your mind, in the fullness of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. O Lord, abide with us, O God. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's call upon the name of God. Look at in our, in our respective churches where we are. We need the presence of God. We want to cry to God and say, Lord, abide with us. Abide with us, O God. Abide with us on every side. In the day, abide with us. In the night, abide with us. In the morning, abide with us. In the afternoon, abide with us. In the evening, abide with us. When it is convenient, abide with us. When it is not convenient, abide with us. When we are on the road, abide with us. Inside the vehicle, abide with us. Anywhere we find ourselves, abide with us. In our workplaces, oh God, abide with us. In our secular place of work, abide with us, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight. Lord, I need your abiding presence. Abide with me, oh God of heaven. Jesus, abide with me. Without your presence, I can do nothing. Without you, I can do nothing. Oh Lord, I want to be a carrier of your divine presence. Anywhere I go. Oh, Lord, I want to carry the presence of Jesus everywhere I go. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight. Let's cry to God and say, God, oh, Lord, abide with us, oh, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we want to abide in presence. We want to abide in presence, oh, God. Let the presence of Jesus Christ saturate every one of our hearts, oh, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We'll still continue in the prayer. You know, that prayer personally is meant for you and for me. Also, we need to pray for our church. If we go to many, many different churches, we begin to wonder what is going on. What is going on? Everything looks so dry. Everything looks so cold. 
and it appears as if nothing seems to be happening. Where is the revival of the Lord? Where is the fire as of old? Where is the power as of old? Power by you to be upon the altar. The Bible says the fire shall ever be upon the altar. It must not go out. Nothing must quench the fire. When these people, when Christ was talking to them, he said, did not our heart burn within us while he was talking to us? Look at the world today. People don't share the world without any impact in their life. We want to ask God, oh Lord, let your word be like a fire in my heart of God. The fire of the word of God to be ignited in our heart, in our soul. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight, brethren. And say, God, let the fire of the word of God, let it be ignited in our soul. Let it be rekindled once again upon our heart, upon our altar, and burn away every child. Whatever thing that wants to stand against the fire of the word of God, let that fire begin to burn out the chants, all the chants of worldliness, all the chants that want to stand as a barrier, all the chants of coldness, all the chants of powerlessness in our soul, in our spirit. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let the fire of the word of God begin to burn everything away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it's not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like an armor that breaketh the rock into pieces. Let the fire of God's word begin to burn in our soul, begin to burn in our heart, begin to burn in our spirit, begin to burn within us once again. Open your mouth and begin to pray. When last did you preach the gospel? Brothers and sisters, that's what I'm telling you, you have to pray. We have to pray, we have to call upon the Lord tonight. And say, God of heaven, oh God, every coldness in my heart, oh God, everything must, burn, must be born into ashes tonight. All the coldness in our spirit, all the lack of zeal, lack of zeal for the things of God, lack of zeal to evangelize, lack of zeal to preach the gospel. You want to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, let your fire begin to burn all the chaff within and without. Burn it away tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Don't be said, don't be self satisfied. Don't be like Israel. We said, I have enough. Oh, because we pray yesterday. We don't need to pray again today. No, don't be self satisfied. It's the moment to become self satisfied. That is when you begin to come spiritually. You begin to go down in every area of life. Why don't you open your mouth and say, God, oh Lord, I need more fire within my soul. Fire upon the altar of my heart, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, did not our heart burn within us while he spoke with us on the way? Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord tonight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want to just read passage of the scripture, a passage now, Revelation chapter 2, brothers and sisters. Turn your Bible with me to Revelation chapter 2, because I want to really talk about evangelism. That is the area I want us to really pray about. Many a times, when you look at the condition of the church, we are not evangelistic in nature like before. You know as I know. When you first gave your life to Jesus, a day will not pass you by without you preaching the gospel. A day will not even pass us by without opening our mouth to preach the gospel. But today, we enter the bus, we cannot preach the gospel. In our neighborhood, everything looks so cold. We are not telling the sinner all around us about Jesus Christ again. All we can do is to condemn them. All we can do is to begin to, you know, to begin to say some things against them. Look at Revelation chapter 2. Jesus Christ was writing to this church, the church at Ephesus. Revelation chapter 2. And I want to read verse 2. Jesus Christ said in verse 2, I know thy work. Brothers and sisters, on this prayer platform, Jesus Christ said, I know your works. I know how you normally gather together. Saturday we are there, we spend time to pray. On Sunday we are there, we spend time to pray. We even go to the church Sunday morning, and then we don't miss the church. We don't even go late to the house of God. And yet he said, I know your work. I know how committed you are being. I know how you have been running from this, from pillar to pole. He said, I know thy work and thy labor. And you have been running after this and running after that. And then he said, 
and thy patience. And now thou cannot bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are, are falsehoods and are not. And hast found them liars. Look at verse 4. He said, Nevertheless, I am somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first law. Where is our first law, brothers and sisters? Where is the first law that we used to have before? We go after sinners. We preach, to them, we preach the word of God unto them. When, when, even when, when they get converted, we run after them to follow them all. Do we still do all those things? Or we, many things have took away, took away evangelism, took away every, you know, the, 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 the zeal for, for so many out of our hands. That's why we are praying tonight. That's why we are calling upon the Lord and say, God, Lord, restore back unto me my first law. The first law that we used to have for God, for the, for the souls of men, and for so many for evangelism. We want to cry to God, let there be a restoration of our first law. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight, brethren. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Lord, restore back the first love once again. Upon my hands, upon my life, O oh God. The love for God, the love for the work of God, the love for His words, the love for evangelism, the love for soul winning, the love that we have. Every day by day, we want to pray the word of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Our eyes are dry now. Where is the tears? Tears of compassion for the dying world. Tears in our hands for those who are perishing, for the sinners in our vicinity, for the sinners in the market, for the sinners even in our neighborhood, for the sinners in our church. Look at our youth now. Many of them, they are, you know, they don't even know their left and their right. They are just living, they are just living carelessly. We want to pray to God and say, God, restore back, oh God, the tears of compassion. Tears for the sinners, oh God. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask God and say, God, restore that this first love into my heart, oh God. I want that first love back again. I want that first original first love, oh God. Restore it back upon my heart, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Lord, restore it back once again upon our heart, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Father, once again, restore back, O oh God, the first love into my heart. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. You know, one other thing that the devil is using now to fight against believers is that he's intimidating us. He's trying to intimidate us so that by the time he intimidates us, we will close our mouth. We will not be able to preach again. By the time he intimidates us, we will drop the Bible. We will not be able to preach the word of God again. By the time he intimidates us, we begin to wrap our Bible either in a, with a newspaper. By the time he intimidates us, we will not be able to stand to declare the whole counsel of God. You know what he's trying to do? He's trying to put fear, fear in the hands of people of God. Let me give an example of what is happening in the northern part. You know, it's becoming seemingly difficult now for brethren to come in the open air, like with the way we normally do before. Morning cry. The evening cry, and then we go out, we we'll preach the gospel. Everything is becoming toxic now, becoming very tough. Why? Because it's trying to intimidate us so that we'll not be able to preach the gospel any longer. Likewise in the, in the vehicle, likewise on the streets. Look at some time ago, uh, one of the pastor's wives from a uh, redeemed church was, was, was killed just because the woman went out to go and preach the gospel in Abuja. And while she was preaching, that's how they slaughter her. And because of that, all of this is to bring fear upon the heart of God's people. And the Bible says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. We want to pray tonight. Brethren, we are going to cry to God. Lord, take away every fear from our hearts. Fear of, of intimidation of the enemy. Fear of this of the Goliath of our time. When Goliath came, all the soldiers of, of the Israelites, they ran away. 
Why? Because of his height, because of his stature. And the same thing is happening now. We are going to pray and say, God, take away every fear from every hand to God. Fear of intimidation. Fear coming from the enemy. Sir. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Brethren, we need to call upon the Lord. I'm telling you, we need to pray. Look at the message they sent to our Father and the Lord. They said, no, he must not come to the east to come and preach the gospel there. The, the gospel that will liberate people. Why? Because they want to intimidate him. Open your mouth and begin to pray. They want to intimidate the church of God. Let's cry to God and say, God, every opposition coming from the enemy camp to be here upon the church. Oh, Lord, arise tonight, to God. Take away all those things from our hearts. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Are you praying, my brother? Open your mouth and pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord tonight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want to pray once again. I'm still reading from that book of Revelation chapter 2. In, that, in verses 8 and 9. And unto the angel of the church is minor. Right. These things hear the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. Look at verse 9. I know thy works. Jesus Christ is always saying that. He said, I know your works. I know what you are practicing. I know what you are doing in the secret. I know what you are doing in the open. I know how you have been how you are, how you have been carrying on the work of God. What you are doing, I know. I know your commitment. I know your consecration. I know your dedication. He said, I know thy works and tribulation and thy poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them will say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Take note. Synagogue of Satan, representing human beings. But then we are going to pray this way. Every synagogue of Satan, every synagogue of the devil, every synagogue of demons, in all our, in all our locality, that are preventing the spread of the gospel, or the shrine of the devil, whether they call it a place of worship, and those things, they, they, will, con- they will converge there, and it's a shrine of the devil. We are going to pray. We are going to set them on fire. We are going to pray and say, go. All those synagogues of Satan, oh God, that the devil has built left and right here and here in, our, in all the states of the Federation, in our nation, in our country, in our locality, we are going to pray. Oh God, let everything begin to catch fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. All those spiritual shrines of the wicked one of the enemy so that have been trying to intimidate God's children left and right from really carrying out the mission, the assignment of heaven. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to pray? Let those synagogues of the devil, all the synagogues of Satan, all those shrines of the wicked, let everything be roasted and be born by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Are you praying, my brother? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's open our mouth and pray to God tonight. Let's tell the Lord, let's tell the Lord, and say, God of heaven, O Lord, every shrine... The spread of the gospel. Lord, Lord of heaven. This night, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every shrine, every synagogue of the enemy, let everything be overthrown tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You know what the devil is trying to do in this end time? He wants to take it to the next level. As he's fighting in the north, so likewise is found fighting in the south. So likewise is fighting in the southeast, in southwest, and he wants to block every opportunity to preach the gospel. He wants to hinder. He wants to stand as a barrier, causing commotion, causing bringing insecurity, causing a lot of things here and there, so that we'll not be able to declare the whole counsel of God. But I know one thing for sure. Jesus Christ said it. He said, upon this rock I build my church. And the gate of hell, the powers of darkness, the powers of hell, the gate of hell, the gate of demons, the gate of witches and wizards, powers of darkness, they will not and they cannot prevail against the church. That's why we are going to pray tonight. Every conspiracy against the gospel light in our nation, in our locality, in our, in the, in our country, in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, every conspiracy of the devil. We want to pray tonight. 
Oh God, overpower them. Oh God, shatter them into pieces tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Please open your mouth and pray. We are praying against all those powers of darkness, all the principalities, in all the localities, in all the, all the territorial demons that say, no, the gospel is not going to continue. Continue. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Every powers of darkness that are fighting against the spread of the gospel. On every side, let them begin to collapse. Every conspiracy of the enemy. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. The Bible says they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Who shall gather against you and fall for thy sake? Let them begin to fall. Let all those thunders, all the conspiracies of the enemy, all the conspirators, all the enemies of the gospel, let them begin to fall flat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the conspiracy against the gospel life, let God begin to overthrow them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Let God arise tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. We are praying. Amen. We want to pray now once again, brethren. We want to cry to God. Satan has formed a kind of formidable army to fight against the church in this end time. I don't know whether you are seeing it the way I'm seeing it. He's fighting the last battle. He knows that he has but a short time. And he wants to deceive as many as possible. And he wants to make sure that they bring coldness upon the church so that the church become weak, so that we'll not be able to evangelize, so that we'll not be able to do anything for God, so that this, there'll be, the spread of the gospel will be truncated. And that's why it's launching attack on every side. We are going to pray. We are going to tell the Lord and say, God, all the hosts of darkness that have been fighting, militating against the church, they will not be able to overpower the church of Christ. They will not be able to overpower the church of Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray to God. Satan and all his hosts, they will not overpower the church of God. They will not overpower the church of Christ. They will not overpower the church of Christ. Pray. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray to God. In our nation, in our locality, in all the statistics states of this country, Nigeria, Including NCT, open your mouth and say, God of heaven, O oh God, every satanic God, all the strong God of the devil, in all the various states of the Federation, O oh God, Lord, arise and begin to pass to once again, O oh God, and begin to visit this nation by your mighty supreme power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray to God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Yes. We are still going to pray, brethren. We are going to cry to God. But before then, let me just read it, this passage. Revelation chapter 2 again. Revelation, you know, there are a lot of revelation, a lot of things, deep, deep things in that book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 2 again. I read verse 12 and 13. Revelation chapter 12, I mean chapter 2 rather. Revelation chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. And to the angel of the church in Pagamos, right? This is CFE, which has a sharp sword, with, which has a sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works. And where thou dwellest, take note, where thou dwellest, where many of us are dwelling, it's a very dangerous, very difficult area. I know thy works. And where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Take note. The seat of Satan is even there. You begin to see a lot of things going on that are not pleasant for our spiritual life, that are not healthy for our spiritual life. As if they want to, they want to squeeze life out of the believer. He said, and even where Satan's seat is, and thou oldest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days, we are in Antipas, my, was my faithful Messiah, who was slain among you. We are Satan dwellers. Take note of that. Where the seat of Satan is, we are going to pray. Every seat of Satan, anywhere the, the seat of the devil is, in all our locality, in all the states of the federation of this country, in all the, in all the 36 states, and he said, no, the gospel will not dominate, that the gospel of Christ will not reign. 
that righteousness will not prevail. We are going to pray. We want to uproot that seat of Satan. We want to eliminate it. We want to pray and say, God, every kingdom of the devil, in all those localities, let them begin to collapse tonight by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord, every kingdom of the devil, in all those localities, in all our states, in all the states of the region, open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God, let everything begin to collapse tonight by the authority of the name of Jesus. Pray, open your mouth and begin to pray. God's soul must penetrate, whether the devil likes it or not. In fact, many will be saved. Many will be liberated by the power of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The word on our mouth call upon the Lord tonight. Oh God of heaven, once again, we want to see your finger in this country. We want to see your finger in this nation. This nation is here to go. And right once again, oh God. You know, when our pastor was leading us yesterday, he mentioned a lot of key things, talking about the wicked gladiators, talking about all those demonic powers, talking about all those uh, wicked warlords and all that. And do you know, many of them we can even call them all those things that they are demonic vampires. You know why? Because they want to be seen blood. They want to be destroying lives. They want to be sucking blood. They want to stone this one to death. They want to cause catastrophe. They want to cause mayhem. They want to cause fracas everywhere. And we are going to stop all those demonic vampires all, all, over, the na- all over our nation here. And they are going up and down. We are going to pray, God, in your supremacy and power, in your sovereignty, you will pass through this nation, from the, from the north to the south, from the east to the west, even down to northwest, to northeast, to southwest, to southeast. Open your mouth and begin to cry to God. Lord Jesus Christ, in the fullness of your power, you will pass through this nation, O oh God. Lord, all those demonic vampires, you will silence them by your power. All those gladiators, wicked gladiators, the ones that are, that are trying to... You know, they're sucking blood, that are after the blood. They want to see people dying like foul. They want to pray and say, God of heaven, oh God, let your mighty supernatural power begin to prevail upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Let God in his supremacy and power begin to prevail upon them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all the powers of darkness, all the principalities, all the, all the wicked spirits, all those demonic forces here and here, and shocking them with answer, causing commotion here and here. We want to ask and say, God, oh Lord, put them to come silence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and pray for our nation. Pray for our nation. Pray for our nation. Open your mouth and begin to turn the Lord. Don't wait until when the battle will be taken to your left side. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord tonight. Let, God, let God arise tonight and begin to fight on our behalf and begin to give us the victory. Over the enemy together in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. We want to pray briefly for our global crusade. The global crusade is coming up, even though we have been told that uh, every location is alpha location. Just because of the security challenge over there in the eastern part. But then, nothing, nobody can stop the work of God. What God wants to do, no devil, no demon, no evil spirit, no powers of darkness, no matter how formidable they are, they cannot withstand the power of God. They cannot stop the work of God. That's why we are going to pray. We are going to tell the Lord, God, this program is tied to Jesus' power for extraordinary breakthrough. We want to ask God, Lord, let your power be mightily present. The power of God to be mightily present in all the alpha locations, all our localities that we are using, all our district churches, whether outdoor or indoor. We want to ask God, let your power be mightily present, oh God to save, to deliver, to liberate, to heal the sick, 
to say the sacrifice. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh Lord, we want to see the power of God in full manifestation. In the mind of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The grounds. Oh God, let your power be mightily present. Power to save, power to heal, power to deliver, power to liberate, power to break, power to break you, power to deliver, power to set free, power to release. Let your power be mightily present. 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 Let your fire be mightily present. The power of the Lord be present, O oh God, in all the locations, in all the locations. Be present, O oh God, Father, to deliver. Be present, O oh God, to save souls. Be present, O oh God, to deliver souls out of the bondage of the devil, out of the captivity of the devil, out of the dungeon of sin, out of the dungeon of iniquity, out of the river of iniquity. O oh God, let your power be present. Let your power be present. Let your power be present. Let your power pass through the land. Let your power pass through the land. Let your power be deposited in all the locations. Oh God, let your power be there. 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 Let your power be present. 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 In all the locations. Oh Lord, let your presence be there. Let your power be there. Let your glory be deposited there. Let your glory be resident there. In the name of Jesus, Holy Father, I just go. Oh God, come down your power. Oh God, come down your power. Oh God, come down your power. Visit all our locations. Visit all our locations. Secure all our locations. Oh God, let your power be there. I say, as the mighty, terrible war. Let your power be there. As a mighty terrible one, let your power be there as the only God. Let your power be there as a great the way. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray for our Father and the Lord. Lord, release your power, release your anointing upon your servant, O God. As he open his mouth to minister the word of God, power will flow from his mouth, anointing will flow from him. Open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord. Great miracle. In fact, miracle that we have never witnessed before. You begin to see them in a greater manifestation in all the alpha locations all together. Open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord. Let's open our mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, this is so mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. I want to pick one or two prayer requests before I hand over to our pastor. Somebody said, he said, pray for me, for God's divine intervention in my life and family, for open doors and financial breakthrough. And we want to lift up that request before the Lord. You know as I know. Perhaps maybe you also you are in that category. You want to use it and say, God, we are using this prayer point as a point of contact. Where it appears as if the door has been closed against our finances. We want to ask God and say, Lord, Open the door of financial breakthrough for everyone, on, even on this live platform. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord? Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Open the door of financial breakthrough for this writer as well as for every one of us all together. Lord, do it once again, O oh God. Let there be open door. Open door of financial breakthrough. Financial breakthrough on every side. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God that will grant unto us, O God, open door in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray to God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. It is known in Jesus' name. We want to pray. Somebody says, say, pray that God will destroy every activity of witchcraft manipulation in my family by any strange personality against my husband, that the Lord will destroy every work of the devil in the family of that writer, of that sister. Shall we lift up that request before the Lord? Every demonic manipulation, every satanic manipulation against the husband of this, of this, of this sister, the Lord Almighty will scatter everything tonight. Those satanic witchcraft manipulations, let everything begin to receive the throne and the power of God now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that family will be like this. That family will be set free. 
from the hand of the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every, every invader, every intruder that has entered into that home, the Lord will take them out by his power. The Holy Ghost will pursue them out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Christ will reign in that home. Jesus will reign in that family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Lastly, we are going to pray. This person said we should pray. That God will take away every weakness and just pain from him. That is, he has been experiencing weaknesses all over his body. The enemy has done that. He fired those arrows of weaknesses. He fired all those kind of sicknesses in the joints, in the bone, in the marrow, in the bloodstream, in any way it is. And we want to chase that thing out and say, God, all those strange arrows, those things must be vanished out of that body. All the weaknesses, all the chest pains, let everything begin to evaporate. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Anything that the enemy has fired into the body, into the system of that writer, let the Holy Ghost begin to root out everything now. Everything be rooted out by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because it is written, every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted off. Let God begin to root everything out tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Let's go begin to walk in the life of that individual. Sunness will come upon that person. Oh, sunness will come upon that body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Is, is Pastor Yomi online? Is Pastor Yomi online? Yes, sir. Okay, please help us round up this session of prayer, please. Our Father, we thank you very much. We glorify your holy name. We adore you for whom you are. Thank you very much. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your mind. Thank you for all that you are doing. Spirit of the living God. I am asking and I'm praying, thou, O oh God, that answers prayer, that all that have been tabled before you tonight, there will be speedy answer from heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Much more than what we have asked, unto him that is able to do exceedingly above all that we ask or think, not beyond and above what has been like go ahead and execute in the name of Jesus. Amen. Of the game, that the fire of evangelism, the zeal, the passion, and the so, like Jesus saw the multitude, you move with passion. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will give us passion towards you and compassion towards the dying world. Effort, Lord, appear before you, barren Christian and footless believers in Jesus' name. Amen. We glorify your name because we know you have answered. Amen. In your name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, please, uh, I want one of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Edward, is with us, is with me. I went out to team for administration. In fact, we are just coming this after service. I pleaded with him to bless us as uh, we are together this night. I just want to park in a safe place now so that he can pray for us before Pastor Matthew take over. Please, uh, you will hear his voice next, Pastor Edwin. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A great God in heaven, I pray that you bless my people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Their labor will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pursue them for this effort in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The great of serving you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Have proper hand over their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Their ministry and their family in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. All the needs of your people in Jesus' name. Amen. And you your power. Amen. Amen. By your name. Amen. 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 Those are all their requests. Amen. 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 That before you call, you will answer. Why we are here speaking, you will confirm it. I want you to Amen. confirm their prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And to have special anointing. Amen. 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 Special power. Amen. Amen. Special authority. Amen. 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 Here it shall be established in the heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Help all of them, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank Lord. you Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Are we? You are taking over, sir. Hello, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe the daddy will continue to join us and continue to remember us in prayer in Jesus' name. Our time has gone. Amen. We must not forget that the other church, they will soon see the uh, the the line now to use the, for their Bible study. So as a result of that, I have a lot of things to say. And then I want to say commendation to the leaders of the uh, Garden of the Eagle. Today you have the highest mark. That is both on YouTube and then on the freeconference.com and then Zoom. That is very great. I pray that Almighty God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Because of the other Amen. things, we cannot just share the grace before they seize the uh, before they seize the line. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord the Jesus, grace Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Uh, please do not forget the prayer in the night. Uh, the divine intervention as a for men, please. Let us do not forget to pray for the all the marriages around the world. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, all our mothers. Thank you, everyone. God bless you, sir. I cannot be mentioning names. Thank you, sir.